Glenn Beck will have his own chapter as possibly the greatest synthesizer of big ideas ever to appear on camera. And a lot of people made fun of Glenn Beck over the years for that. But if you go back and watch the tape, you will find out that maybe more than any other person on television, Glenn Beck got it right again and again and again. So we thought tonight is the perfect opportunity to hear from him. He's the co-founder of Blaze Media. He's just written a book called The Great Reset. And he joins us now for an overview of what we're watching. Glenn Beck, thank you so much for coming on tonight. How, how, how thank you. would you very interpret kind of you this? To say. Well, it's true. So let me, I, I've got a couple of things here for you. Um, let me just go through. I'm going to bring, a, I think, a different perspective to this. We have the banking crisis. They say it's fine. It's just beginning. We, um, yesterday, we had the Saudis and uh, Brazil and um, uh, China enter a deal to where the petrodollar is over. Brazil and China are going to cha- uh, trade in their own currency. That's the beginning of the end of our currency. That means a dollar collapse. That yes. means we become Venezuela. We will have war with China. We will have war with Russia and Iran. Uh, we have the restrict bill. We have social media and our NSA and everybody else in bed with each other, silencing people. We, of course, have the raccoon dogs, which we all know is bullcrap. And now this week we have a new uh, gun grab that they're trying to do. Um, Biden and his family taking money from the Chinese. What do you think this Donald Trump thing is really all about? The American, the America that we knew, the fundamental transformation that started in 2008 is finished. We are no longer viewed as a superpower. We are now a, an elderly, what we're Joe Biden, just walking into the twilight. What this is all about, I believe, is trying to inflame this country. Is in, they've wanted violence from the right from the beginning. They can't yeah. wait it. They need it. Because if we strike out, Look at January 6th, the day they're letting the shaman out of prison because it was all trumped up. Thank you, Tucker Carlson, for uh, revealing this. The day they're letting him out, they do this to Donald Trump. They want you to strike out. Why? Because then they can close the cage. I'm going to make another prediction for you, uh, Tucker. You said I got it right. Well, everything I've been talking about since 08, this is the time. I'm going to make a prediction. By 2025, we are going to be at war. We are going to have a new dollar, a currency that probably is coming from the central bank. We'll have a currency collapse, uh, and we will live in a virtual police state. I know that might sound crazy to a lot of people. It's not far off. The, The Bill of Rights is gone Nobody is paying attention. Where are the Republicans? Where are the decent Democrats that can see this is, this is insanity? B- Donald Trump, the reason why this is going to um, help Donald Trump, and that's why I don't think they're doing it so he can't run. They're doing it because they want people to strike out. Please turn to God, repent, pray for our country, Pray for peace. Put on the full armor of God. But here's what's really what they miss. Donald Trump is not even a person anymore. He is a symbol. He is a symbol of the average everyday guy that keeps getting screwed every single time. Watches other people screw up big banks, screw up their companies and get away with it. They see people all the time doing stuff that they know if they did, they'd be in prison for 20 years. But because they're not part of the elite, they get away with it. Donald Trump has taken arrow after arrow, and that's why this is the way the average American feels tonight. I hope that there's a few Democrats out there But this guy has been taking the bullets for the average person now for years. And people on the right feel like he's the only guy that really gets what the people are feeling. 
And it's, uh, it's not going to, it's not going to end well, uh, for the Democrats in the next election. It's just not. I don't know if Donald Trump is the winner or not, but I will tell you this. You're not going to stop a hundred million people. This country is in shambles. And there's going to be a hundred million people that will walk on broken glass and through fire to vote for someone other than this corrupt banana republic administration. That's, I think, exactly right. Glenn Beck, wow. I'm going to be processing that for a couple of days. I really appreciate you. your coming on tonight. Thank you.